Hello! Today I'm going to take you on a driving tour of Wyndham, or is it Windham? Hmm. New Hampshire. I want to share with you a top 10 highlights of this popular town, and if that's the kind of information that you're looking for, then let's see what it has to offer. Hi, I'm Jen Baer, the Waltzing Real Estate Agent on the Dolloff team with eXp Realty. And on this channel, we talk about all things New Hampshire, where to eat, where to stay, where to play, where to live, with a little bit of history and ballroom dancing as well. So the first thing we need to discuss though is how do you pronounce this town? Is it Windham or Windham? Now, if we go ahead and to the History Museum and ask around there, they will tell you that it's Windham. That is the original pronunciation. And you will hear it from families that have lived in town a long time, generations. But Windham is way more popular because anyone new to town, that's how they pronounce it. And there's a lot larger, newer population. So for this video, I will say Windham, but every now and then I revert back to Windham. So this locals guide was created to be printable and there will be a link down below where you can download it. The driving tour will not go in the same order. Um, and if you are familiar with Wyndham and you think I forgot something, please put it in the comments below so that everybody who watches this can then go check that out. And stay tuned to the end of this video if you wanna see the oldest relic in Wyndham. It's actually hidden in the woods. Our tour today is gonna to start heading west on Route 111 into Wyndham, taking a ride onto Searles Road in order to go to Searles Castle at 23 Searles Road. So Searles Castle is an authentic English Tudor castle nestled in the New Hampshire woods, high atop a 125 acre estate. And it sets the scene for weddings and other grand events, but they also have events that are open to the public. You can see in this video, there's a tent out there. There was a sign that said shower, so someone was having an event. What's really cool is that this castle took a decade to build between 1905 and 1915, and it's a one-fourth scale replica of Stanton Harcourt in Oxfordshire, England. And now we're gonna head back to Route 111. You can see the Cyril's Schoolhouse straight ahead. And we're gonna take a right and head towards the highway on what is the part of 111 called Range Road. And that's because we're gonna pass by the old school bar and grill at 49 Range Road. The drinks are cold and crafty, the food is exceptional, and the fun doesn't stop. They have happy hour specials and live music on the patio. So they're not in that plaza, but they're in that one way back there. And I'm now gonna share with you some video when I drove in later on so you can see the sign. And as we drive around the back of the building, you will see the patio. And that is where a lot of the live music and entertainment happens. Continuing west on Route 111, we are now going to be going under Route 93. And this cuts through Wyndham. You will see that we will be going under it multiple times. And we're heading towards the Village Green, which has a Simply Wholesome Life and the Village Bean. And this is part the part of Route 111 that's called Indian Rock Road, because they're at 33 Indian Rock Road. So the Village Bean is first. It's the best coffee shop in town. They serve high quality organic coffees, teas, smoothies, protein shakes, gluten-free cupcakes and snacks, plus more goodies and gifts. And then two doors down from that, you're gonna see the Simply Wholesome Life, which is an all natural organic food and supplements market. And next to that, they also have pet food and treats and coming soon an organic kitchen, making healthy snacks and meals. We're gonna take a right out of this and head back down 111 to pass the town shops and the commons, two other plazas with a lot of other businesses. Uh, and then there's the town green also on the right, but we're gonna go take a left at this next set of lights because we'll be heading to the library. The Nesmith Library is a wonderful public library in the heart of Wyndham. Programs and activities for young and old alike, book fairs, and a story garden. So as we take a left, this is called Fellows Road, and it really only has the fire station, the police station, and at the very end here, as we take a right, the library. They also have a great organization called Friends of the Library of Wyndham, FLO, that puts on a strawberry festival that uh, my family enjoys every year. And as we come around the back side of the building here, you'll see a fenced in area and that's the storybook garden for the kids. It's actually attached to the kids room. And then here is the front view. 
going straight through that intersection onto North Lowell Road. That's the Memorial Armstrong Building, Town Hall, the Senior Center on the right with the church, the Town Green and the gazebo on our right. This is the center of Wyndham. We're going to be heading away from 111, away from the center of town up North Lowell Road in order to go to the Wyndham Junction Country Gift Shop and Kitchen as well as the Wyndham Rail Trail. We will first see the Wyndham Junction Country Gift Shop and Kitchen as soon as we pass under Route 93 for the second time. And you'll notice it straight ahead. It is in a historic Victorian and you can enjoy a delicious meal while browsing unique country gifts. They also sell ice cream and you can sit outside and it's close enough as you'll see as we head on to now Depot Road to the rail trail. And the Wyndham Rail Trail was voted as Hippo Best of 2021 Award for a Best Bike Trail. There are 11 miles of continuous paved passive use rail trail. And you can see that blue right there, that's the famous caboose that the kids love to climb on and that's the parking lot and the depot. We are now going to head back down to Route 111 and take a right so that we're still heading west to go to Friendly Red's Tavern, one of the many places you can eat and drink in town. So Friendly Red's is a local neighborhood restaurant and bar that has an extensive beer and wine selection, affordable fresh food, and outdoor seating. And it's located on a part of Route 111 that is now called Haverhill Road. So it's at 22 Haverhill Road. All right, we are now traveling down Lowell Road. Right there, you're gonna see the Wyndham Center School. And this is because we're trying to get to Cobbett's Pond Road to go to the Black Moose Country Store. So the Black Moose Country Store has penny candy, home decor, New Hampshire made products, maple syrup, gourmet food, and so much more. It's a great place to get souvenirs. And it's located in this plaza that has a lot of other wonderful businesses like Mary Ann's Diner, and there's a barber shop that I love to go to. Oh, and there's the store. There's also another restaurant in here as well. There's Lee's Asian Gourmet. And that's Cobbett's Pond. We're gonna take a right and continue on Cobbett's Pond. And on our left here are some baseball fields, but behind them is kind of hidden in the woods, a hidden gem in Wyndham, uh, is a wooden playground called Wonderlands. You can kind of see it there through the trees. And we're gonna continue on Cobbett's Pond until we come to the section here where you can actually see the water. So you can enjoy the view as you drive around. It's a very narrow road. And coming around to the end of it, we're going to see the Wyndham Town Beach, which I did not include on my list because you have to be a resident of the town of Wyndham in order to enjoy it. And there it is through the trees. They do have a lifeguard that's on duty seasonally as well. And as we come around the corner, we're going to come to the intersection with Range Road. And we're going to take a left there. What we're gonna see next is Griffin Park and Johnson's Highland View Farm. They are both located at 101 Range Road, right next to each other. So we're gonna be heading north here on Range Road. Oh, that's the center homestead. They used to have a playhouse there, a very historic building, currently for sale. And up here, it's gonna be on the right is Griffin Park. If you want more information on what the park has to offer, I did a separate video because there is a playground, a pond, basketball courts, baseball diamonds, soccer fields, walking trail, and a gazebo. So I go through that in another video. And then right next to it is Highland Johnson View Farm, or Johnson's Highland View Farm. There's the farm stand, they have an ice cream stand as well, and there's some animals that my kids love to go visit while we're there. And we're just gonna continue heading north here to go see the common man in Wyndham. Uh, we have to go under 93 one more time and we'll see it on the left. It's nestled inside a classic red barn and they serve American fare with New England flair. <laughs> you must try the lobster corn chowder. I actually had my baby shower here. They have events um, and numerous book clubs as well. It's a great venue. And that concludes our tour. If you'd like more in-depth information on Wyndham, like its school district, town policies, real estate, even some more local businesses, then check out a link below in the description in which I created a website just for Wyndham that will have all those links for you. 
Okay, now I'm gonna share with you that most ancient relic that is hidden in Wyndham, and it is called Indian Rock. And yes, it's exactly what Indian Rock Road is named after. It's a rock um, used by the first inhabitants of this area over a thousand years ago. They actually used it to grind their corn on the top of the rock, and there's still indentations there. Um, but it's hidden in the woods. There's no sign on the road that lets you know where to go see this um, rock. But here, I'll show you a picture I took with my family as we were exploring, and you can actually see uh, there's a plaque on it that was installed in 1933, and it states, over these rock strewn hills and through these woods, the Indians roamed on their hunt for game. On these waters, their canoes were launched in their quest for fish. Nearby fields yielded their harvest of corn, and on this rock, it was ground into meal. So it is a really cool piece of history. Um, the first time that it was called Indian Rock was in 1883. And if you would like more um, Wyndham history information, uh, you can go to WyndhamNewHampshireHistory.com. I'll have a link for that down below too. It's a, a local resident who has gathered a lot of information, um, but you can also go to their history museum in the Memorial Armstrong building. I hope you enjoyed this driving tour of Wyndham and Windham, New Hampshire. Uh, if you would like to be notified when I post my next locals guide from my next town, just subscribe and hit the notification bell and that way you'll be notified right away. I hope everybody has a wonderful week. Hustle on my friends and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.